Hello everyone. Today, we're going to explore stories about Karens who think they're the center of the universe and believe they can get away with breaking all the rules. Step out, you're getting hosed! Step out now! Step out now! Step out of the vehicle now! OC, OC, OC! You'll witness the decisive intervention of law enforcement when faced with outrageous and disrespectful behavior. Let's find out the serious consequences they face when their car windows are smashed and they are handled by law enforcement officers. Like I said, I can walk my legs up out of here to put your hands on because you haven't even given me the option to get out. Before we begin, let's take a look at today's notable faces. Step out, that's how it works. I'm trying to, yo. <laughs> what is this incident occurred on April 23, 2024, involving a traffic stop and arrest that sparked significant debate about citizens' rights and compliance with the law. When patrol officers noticed a vehicle driving without its headlights on, they conducted a license plate check and discovered that the driver, Janae Pennington, 28 years old, had an active felony warrant in Jackson Township. The officers then proceeded to stop the vehicle and began approaching the woman to speak with her. However, as the officer approached, she immediately argued about the legitimacy of the traffic stop and refused to comply with the officer's requests, including refusing to exit the vehicle. This created a tense and uncooperative situation from the start, increasing the risk of conflict between her and the law enforcement officers. What's going on? 3-4. Well, you have no lights on. You have your license on you? I just told you, you have no lights on. No. Okay. No, you weren't. I'm not. Where do you have your license on you? I'm going to tell you that it's going to be obstruction if you don't give me your license. Do me a favor. Unlock your door. Okay. If you don't unlock your door. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. I don't need to call my sergeant. No, I don't. Okay. Okay. I haven't done anything wrong. I pulled over the park back in here. So you're lying. Okay, well, we have a camera that shows your vehicle in motion. You parked in a fucking driveway down there. So what? And then you pulled out, and you blacked out, and you pulled over here. So therefore, that's a traffic offense. No, it's not. I have it is. No, it's not. I have my lights on. No, you did not. Yes, I did. Are your lights on now? No, because I don't okay. I you're also on. illegally parked. The woman continued to demand to speak with the lieutenant and refused to unlock the car door. She threatened to drive away if the police tried to break the window and accused them of racial discrimination, claiming that they were not giving her a chance to comply. This not only complicated the situation, but also put both her and the police in a dangerous position. As Janae continued to argue and justify her actions, the police were forced to use stronger measures. This is the best way to handle stubborn cases like Janae. What do you think of the officer's approach? Share your thoughts in the comments below the video. So either get out the vehicle or we're going to break in to the vehicle by busting your window. Janae, we're not doing this. No. You don't have lights on. You're not parked. No. You weren't. No, you. No. Call your sergeant. I want to talk to him. I'm telling you right now. I would like to talk to your sergeant. Cool. I will call my sergeant. No, I'm not getting out of here. You have to call your sergeant. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. I can do my job. Sorry. Yes. No. You're refusing to get out of the car right now. Yes, because there's no reason for you to pull me out of the vehicle. Out the window. I'm telling you right now, you bust my window and I'm pulling off. Out the window. Because I will pull off. And I will pull off. Because there's no reason for you to be getting out of my car. No, we're not. I tried to park. There is a. I'm trying to pull past it. Y'all are wrong. We're not wrong. Yeah, you are. Okay. So I'm telling you, you press my window, I'm pulling off. Okay. I, no, I want to talk to him. He's on his way. What are you pulling me 
you over for? The unit coming here, the street. You can go east, down the street. What are you pulling me over for? I already told you. No, you did not. I did. Uh, you have no lights on. You were driving with no lights on once you pulled out the I'm. I already told you. I'm not having this argument with you. I'm not having this argument. Because you're wrong. You want to talk to my sergeant? He's on his way. It's not done. I'm glad that you think you know now how to do my job better than I know how to do it. You did. You did. No, I did not. Okay. This way, you can talk to him. Yeah, I see what you're doing. It's on. Yes. Seatbelt. Now. All right, quit reaching down beside your seat. It's in her waist. She already did it. She took it out of her bra. Open up the car now. Door. Does anybody have a... I have one. I'm going to pull off. You want to do that? Deer. No, you're going to try to break my window. Your window's going to get broken if you don't start cooperating. Do what we say. Open the door. Open the door. Open the door. Yeah, I know. Open the door. 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 You're, you are making the situation worse. That's how it is. Oh, whoever you are, they're going to get arrested. Get out of my face. I haven't done anything. Undo your seatbelt and step out. No! Why you pulled me over? We told you why. You're driving. Oh. There you go. No. Yes. Yeah. Simple. Put your hands Stop. on your head. Don't listen. Put your hands up. Get your arm out. Don't pull me. I can get out by my damn self. I can get out by my damn self. You oh, damn sure ain't gonna rip me out. Like I said, I can walk my legs up out of here. I don't need you to put your hands on. During her arrest, the woman continued to argue and resist, using foul language to insult the officers. However, she claimed she was being treated unfairly and that the police had hit her in the face. She revealed that she had health issues and expressed her anger and distrust toward the police. It seems that every Karen believes they are the victims in their own story, always blaming the police or those around them. They are all talented actors waiting to be discovered and locked up. I can get out by myself. You want to let me go so I can get out? Because you haven't even given me the option to get out. You Get the f off me. Why would you tase me? Stop. I'm trying to get off me. Get off me. Get off Can I get out of the car? Can I get out of the car? All right, so get off me. That's how it works. You step out. That's how it works. I'm trying to. Y'all won't. <laughs> Come on, what is wrong with you guys? What is wrong with you guys? Give me your hand. For what? Why would y'all do this to me? She got stuff in her yeah. hand too. And you didn't let me get out. Where Open your you? hand. Open your hand. You got it. Just put another, put another uh, cuff right. Why would y'all do that? You were doing. They're giving multiple chances. Right, so no, some, you didn't so give some, me multiple If somebody chances. give you lawful order, you're supposed to follow them. They take, ain't nobody beating on you. You weren't beat on. You gave me multiple chances. So how is that not getting beat on? Face, it wouldn't let me get out the car. I gave you several chances to get no, out the car. No, you did not. You know what you didn't do? Get out of the car. Stuck on something. Just take your time. Just take that. Take this off. Right Push it away from the bike. Just take this off. Push it up. Push it. Oh. There you go. Just 
Could have been all so simple. Yeah, if you wouldn't have put your hands on me. You fine for whatever you want. All you get out the car. Hey, yeah, barely. Let go of your fingers. What is wrong with y'all? All on your side. No, it's awful. I'm going to twist you up. Okay. Don't trip it. Anything wrong? No, I didn't. Why are you taking my keys? Going to jail. I have no re reason to go to jail. No, I don't. How was I obstructed to get out? And y'all let me get out the car. What is wrong with y'all? No, I told you let me get out. You would not let me get out. No, you didn't. You punched me in my face. Yeah, it is. You punched me in my face. Yeah. Listen. The f I didn't have enough chance. What the f do you mean? He just punched me in my face. Alright. Y'all act like I'm a violent offender. I don't even have no violent felonies. Girl in the face. I didn't do nothing wrong. No, I didn't. What did I Cause you still ain't saying nothing. What did I do? What? Then. Obstructing official business. How did I obstruct? I'm not tripping, bro. You have any medical conditions that uh, medics need to know about? Again, I have asthma. Number two, I'm schizophrenic. Number three, I'm bipolar. Number four, I'm madness. From all of the behavior y'all have given to me. And number five, I don't f with y'all. I don't did anything to be this punched in my face for? Never. You, you, don't you are black, not. White, white, Stop white, talking. White. All you gotta do is like I sports. had no chance to. You is to get out the car. The you, the you mean? Chance. No, you didn't. Shut up. I don't give a. Y'all tripping? I do. Yeah, I do. Yeah, and you did it. The car, I said I have no reason to get out of the car. The officers then followed proper procedures and transported her to the hospital due to concerns about the health issues she mentioned. During the arrest search, they discovered a digital scale with residue in her right jacket pocket. The police also found a plastic straw with residue inside Janae's wallet. Then you said, I'm going to tase you. No oh, tripping. And miss, we're gonna stand you up, okay? Ready on three. Bring your knees up to your chest. Okay. All right. Ready? One, two, three. There you go. We're gonna bring you back here to this group, all right? Don't you call us? Why don't you have to go pick my hand? Hang on. Don't you want to me? Hurt me? No. No. Can y'all turn off my mom's vehicle? We can turn it off. Hey, you turn off the car. Thank you. Can I sit on the, on the ground? Oh, I would like to sit on the ground okay. instead of here. That's too bad. Put your feet there. I would like to sit right here until the end is. still not listening. I just want to sit here until the EMS comes. For what? I don't even like your butt. I don't give a shit what you like or not. Stop talking. Janae was summoned and taken to the Jackson Township Police Department to obtain a warrant for her arrest.
the woman was charged with the following. Failure to use headlights, resisting arrest, obstructing official duties, possession of drug paraphernalia. She failed to appear in court, and an arrest warrant was issued. Sometime later, Janae's case was resolved, and she was convicted on two charges. Resisting arrest, obstructing official business. The case of the woman being arrested for driving without headlights highlights the importance of complying with and cooperating with law enforcement. Instead of arguing and resisting during a stop, cooperating helps minimize the risk of conflict and ensures safety for everyone involved. Every citizen has the right to fair treatment, but must also adhere to legal regulations. In practice, many unnecessary conflicts arise from a lack of cooperation. Therefore, understanding your rights and responsibilities will help you and your family avoid unnecessary risks and contribute to a more peaceful and safer community. Never try to assert your rights in extreme ways as Janae did. Get out of the car! Get out of the car! Get out of the car! On April 3, 2024, an incident involving a Navy veteran loitering outside a closed facility drew the attention of nearby investigating officers. To find out what was happening, the police stopped their vehicle and approached her to inquire about the situation. However, the woman had no intention of cooperating and displayed defiant behavior, which caused the situation to escalate. Her refusal and resistance not only escalated the situation, but also increased the severity of the charges she might face. Stay tuned so you don't miss the thrilling details about the suspect. Yo, so real quick, my name is Deputy Barry Answers with the Sheriff's Office, okay? Just to let you know our interaction is audio and video recorded. The reason we're stopping out with you, ma'am, is because of where you're parked out in front of a closed business. What you're doing right now is not normal for the law. It's not a place where a normal law-abiding citizen will be present at. Okay. Okay. Uh, whenever he instructs you, can you step out of the car, please? Why am I stepping out of the car? I'm sorry? Why am I stepping out of the car? Because we're telling you. Can you identify yourself? For what? So right now you're detained because of what he explained. Why am I Because you're out in front of a closed business. Okay. So can you step out of the car, please, before we make you step out of the car? Let's go five. Can you step out of the vehicle, okay. please? You need to step out of the car before we make you step out of the car. You gonna let me? Yes. Why? Ma'am. You're gonna go to jail. I'm not gonna go to jail. Yes, you are. Why are you gonna arrest? Why are you You need to get out of the car. I'm You're gonna go to jail. Now. I haven't done anything wrong. Now, move. No, I don't move. No, no. You need it. We're giving you a lawful command to step out of the car. Okay, that has. I uh, thank you for your service, but right now we're dealing with this situation. Okay. Situation. Yes, there is. No, no. You're gonna move. You're gonna move after we're done talking to you. Right, we're gonna go talk to them as well. We need you to step out of the car. I'm not stepping out the car because I haven't done anything wrong. Ma'am, he There's explained no out. Listen, just out. listen. You're in a closed business when you shouldn't be, okay? I'm not the only one. Well, we're okay. we're here one at a time, right? You you have to make this easier for us, no, ma'am. I haven't done anything. So now we're giving you lawful commands, and you're resisting our lawful I'm commands. Gonna, I'm not gonna go to jail. Don't go to jail over I'm something not stupid. I've not done anything wrong. All I'm doing is in a spot where it's closed. We don't have to do that. We have to further so investigate have, the situation. For what? Because that's what we get paid for. Ma'am, you need to step out of the vehicle. I'm not to, stepping out. Well, you'll I be, haven't done anything Listen, wrong. you're going to be put under arrest for LMP. We're going to break the glass. We're going to have to get you out of the car. Then break the glass and do what you got to do. I haven't done anything wrong because I'm sitting here. I thought this was a 24-hour spot. There's people here all night long. Okay. I'm not yes, bothering you. You're not the. Talking. You're the third person we talked to. Okay. I don't care. Don't make this difficult. No, it's not difficult. I didn't know it was a was a wasn't a 24-hour spot. You have an idea on you? No. She was identified as Leslie, a former military service member. When this woman, despite her military service, stubbornly refused to cooperate. The officers were forced to consider using forceful measures such as breaking the car window to carry out their duties. It is possible that this woman fabricated her veteran status because if there's one thing Marines do, it's follow orders without question or hesitation, not scream like a child, and fail to follow instructions like her. Do you share the same thoughts? Please share your opinions about this topic with everyone. Why not? So now you're failing to identify I don't yourself. I need to have ID on me. Yes, you do. I'm not a I don't know that. I don't know you. Well, I'm telling ID yourself and then we could determine if you're a criminal or not. No, I'm not a criminal. I'm telling you. So why is the reason you want to step out? Because I don't want to step out. I haven't done anything wrong. You're detained. No, I'm not We're giving detained. you lawful orders. You I'm have to step out. I've done nothing yeah, wrong. Unlock the car door. If y'all break my glass, 
then I'll just record it. Touch my vehicle. There's no reason for you. What state is it from? Pennsylvania. Oh. You know, tell me. Green is my first name. Is so, Marine? so mine is Army. Christian, not Army. My first name is Marie. Marie. My last name is Marie. Marie. Why are y'all harassing me? Well, we're out with people that shouldn't be at a place. That Ooh, but that's it. No, that's not how it works in the state. Doesn't doesn't work that way in this well, county. I tell you what, I've been here and okay. I have never seen you guys. Okay. And I didn't see y'all bother well, nobody what? else. Guess what? Me and him are the only two that okay. seen you guys. Okay. And That's fine. This is the first time this has happened. Okay. I drove by here the uh, just a few hours ago. And I was something in there. Um, ma'am, we're we're very close to breaking the window, so. Not. Okay. And you're refusing to identify yourself. I don't have to. Yeah, you do now. No, I do. I'm gonna sit here and argue. I don't have to identify no. myself. What you it's up to you. I'm a. When did you get discharged? In 2021, December. I'm not living out of my car. So why are you sleeping here? Because I'm tired. Where do you live? World yes, Wanderer? Yes, I am. You got. There's like 30, 40 cars. We already talked to two people already. Mm hmm. You got in there, you this got person. All this stuff right there. All those cars were next. Mm -hmm. That's usually the. I, how long you been down here in the Indian River County? I don't know, maybe a day or two. Well, things are different here than Pennsylvania, whatever you used to. Registered motor vehicle being in actual physical control of an unregistered motor vehicle, it's an arrestable offense. As well as refusing to identify yourself when we're conducting an investigation, as well as resisting our as well as our um, resisting our lawful commands, okay? No. Me, yeah, I promise you that. Lawful commands? I don't think so. Why? Yeah. Why, why do we still have to talk about putting me in jail for what? I already listed a bunch of things. I'm, here, I'm sitting here minding my business and you gonna put me to jail? You're, I'm sure there's somebody out here that really rates that. You're not the one what? That rates the vote of death. I'm not going to. I'm not. I already listed some crimes you committed that no, you are you could be arrested for. Crime. Okay. Sitting somewhere that we're at where the store is closed, and I thought it was a 24-hour store because there are people here all what for what? That's all like you have to do is say, hey, just leave. Why wouldn't it be? They're not all employees. Well, they're gonna you give. No, the, they're not. Employees. They're gonna make the final decision. Not me. We go do three combat tours, but it's not okay to sit outside. Three combat the tours where? Over Just Iraq? What year? 2003. 2012. Well, 2003, 2008, 2012. So you pull a retirement or no? No. Might as well just made it a career. I did 20 plus years. I got injured. But oh. I'm not lying. I wear the EJ on my right shoulder. All you have to do is open business right now. And I would have left. Mm, that's not how things work. That is how things work. You gotta, I was going to tell you, Google loitering and prowling, Florida State statute. I'm prowling? I don't think so. Loitering and prowling. You could look it up. You can see I'm not BSing you. I'm not loitering and I'm not prowling. No, you did. Like he said, we're audio video recording you. Put the hammer or whatever, whatever tool you guys plan on using to break your vehicle. I mean, come on. Well, man. that's a felony. That's it's, that's that's a form of violence and uh, destruction. Well, the means necessary. No, no. What did you study law at? Do kind. Of Do you have? Um, did you take the bar in Florida? No, I did not. Doesn't uh, matter. It's all the same. Oh no, it's not. Yes, it is. Absolutely it's not. The same. No. It's the same. Mm, no. Well, then you must have a different definition for prowling and loitering. Then. Loitering and prowling, yeah. The dictionary term must differ from in Florida. There's many laws that are unique to Florida. Mm. Reference in a dictionary by loitering. Any other definition is a different definition. You have a warrant out of Hillsborough County. I don't have a warrant. A warrant? Yeah. Leslie, Leslie, what? Leslie get out of the have a let. You have a warrant. A warrant? Yeah. Yes, out of Hillsborough County. They just confirmed the warrant. A warrant for what? WLS warrant. What is that? What is that? Driver with no license. It's a 
Okay. Are you sure? Yes. Yes. Yeah. We just oh, confirmed boy. it. Step out the vehicle now. I ain't stepping out the vehicle. Leslie, get yeah. out of the car. Do what you gotta do. Her fierce resistance, combined with the discovery that she had a knife and an outstanding warrant, made the situation even more complicated. This not only posed a risk to her own life, but also to the officers. Therefore, the police had to respond cautiously. Otherwise, the situation could become extremely dangerous. She was making things harder for herself, willing to risk her peaceful life for no reason at all. Despite her rude remarks, her final destination was inevitably going to be jail. I ain't committed no crime. What are you talking about? A warrant? We're with the female with the warrant. She's refusing to get out of the vehicle. A warrant? Yeah. You know what? Get your world down here. A warrant? I haven't committed any crime. I'm not refusing to cooperate. A warrant? Come on, man. Yeah, you got a warrant? Yes, you do. We just confirmed it. Whatever. A warrant. Or D. To Willis. DWLS. Driving while license revoked or suspended. To make this worse, how about the warrant? No. I don't have a warrant. And if they gave me a warrant. Okay. I just want you to know, no matter what happens, you're going, you're going to be under arrest, okay? Yeah, I have a, I have a window. Okay. <clears throat> Ma'am, are there any weapons in the shop reach? Don't reach. Stop reaching. This Stop. is it. Okay. Right, put it down. Put it down. I'm going to put it back in my pocket. No. Stop. Listen. Okay. Listen here. I don't have any weapons. I got a pocket knife. Is your uh, camera on? Yeah. Dash? I'm not out here harming nobody. Well, you have a warrant. Y'all get this information from me. Warrant? Yes. In all my life, I, I've never had a warrant. No. Don't make this more difficult, okay? And y'all still ain't messing with the mother people. Y'all to do all this, y'all could have rounded up this whole corral. Leslie, just... Huh? There isn't anything to think about. I committed no crime. Well, you have a warrant, so yeah. You, you what the things say. I have committed. Well, unfortunately, it's not up to you, and that's how it how it's to gonna be. be. Okay. It is up to you. Thank you. Okay. Totally unnecessary to have those lights on you. Like that. Well, all you had to do. Uh, she has a knife in her left pocket. Refusing uh, to get rid of it. Refusing to get it out. Um, she's very. Okay. I have a window puncher. Uh, so whenever you're ready, sir, I'm going to switch with him. Yep. Yes, sir. I have less lethal. Yes, sir. What? Okay. Are you going to come out of the car for me? Okay. So you have a warrant for your arrest? Yes. Yes. Are you willing to step out of the vehicle? No. No? Okay. Okay. I'm asking you. I'm giving you a lawful order. Step out of the vehicle. To step out of the vehicle. Because you have a warrant for your arrest. Okay. You're allowed to do that. But the, the manager doesn't want you out here. Well, that's what you spoke with the manager already, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. The manager has said, but now we know you have a warrant. So you are not free to leave. You will be arrested. Hey, I think Adrian, because I have le I have less lethal, he has lethal. Um, who's going to grab him? Ma'am, do not, ma'am, stop! Listen, I gotta stop reaching. I'm gonna put my stop reaching. Everybody on this side. The officers gave her ample time to think and plenty of opportunities to make the right choice, but she was determined to take the hardest path. Her decision led to a dramatic struggle and a series of severe legal consequences. Put your hands on the dash. I just don't want it. No, I give to her right in the window. Okay. Coming out. You're, you're going to be exposed to chemical munitions. Do you know what pepper spray is? Okay. 
Step out of the vehicle or you're gonna be pepper balled. I'm I'm requesting you very nicely. Very nicely. I have a Are you gonna come out of the vehicle? Are you gonna come out of the vehicle? If I let you put your sock on, are you gonna come out of the vehicle? Come on. I want more. Come out of the vehicle. Okay, get ready to. Get out of the car. You don't have to. Get out of the car. Get out of the car. You made me pee on myself a little. Broke my chain. You don't have to do that. Why is such unnecessary force? Unnecessary force. I gave you ample opportunity. But you don't have to be this forceful. There's no reason for it. That's it. It's so I can cut the wood. It's in my left pocket. I know. It's in my left pocket. The pocket run deep. <coughs> it may have fallen out. Okay. Lift your leg <laughs> to your butt. I can't lift the left one. It's I can only lift the left one. Okay. You're gonna come to the left, okay? This way. I can't roll on my late knee. <clears throat> okay. Well, I need you to. Okay. Good. This one. That I, one bends good. I can't bend this one. It's 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 swollen. Okay, we're gonna sit up. I'm trying to move some. I'm late for that. <coughs> it may have fallen out. I don't know. Check the check the <coughs> right. Two, three. Take her take her that way. Yep. Come on. Come on, can't walk on. Or you're gonna get drugged. We don't want to drag you. Walk on your own feet. I, I can't wait on this one. Boys, to collect wood. Yeah, I make stuff with wood. Wait a minute. I'm just gonna hop. Okay, just stand and lean forward, okay? <clears throat> sir. I do not. Did you uh, ID her with the picture? Yes, yes. sir. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. She also, uh, like the age she joined. Yeah. Is it dark? Okay. <laughs> okay, man, still in the chair, okay? Can you cut out from there without falling? You all right? Okay. Well, don't don't do that. Try and bring your legs around. No, oh, I can't bend this leg. Yep. Okay. All right. <clears throat> the female was charged with two counts of FSS 843.02, resisting without violence. This incident highlights an important lesson about complying with police requests. Individuals need to understand that non-cooperative behavior can lead to more severe legal consequences. While protecting oneself and exercising one's rights is legitimate, complying with lawful requests from authorities helps prevent unnecessary escalation and safeguards one's own interests. Here comes another arrogant, reckless Karen daring to challenge the authority of the law. Let's dive into this story to uncover the details right away. Get out! Put your hands behind your back, you are under arrest. On January 15, 2023, a minor traffic collision on a road in Lancaster, Ohio, just outside of Lancaster, led to a complex and dangerous situation involving three individuals, described as a mix of Karens and entitled citizens. After causing the collision and spraying pepper spray at an innocent man, they left the scene and were later stopped by the police. However, 
these individuals refused to provide their identification and were unwilling to cooperate with the officers, leading to a highly tense situation. They're not yeah. identifying themselves. She rolls her window up, refuses to talk to me. He tells me, forget you, I ain't identifying myself. He was on that vehicle? Just a mirror, touching mirrors. Um, sheriff's deputy, I'm not sure where he came. He comes down here. They refuse to identify, and then he calls supervisor in. So she's refusing to identify herself. Right, as well as the gentleman in the passenger and side. that's plate, right? Correct. So she's refusing to identify herself. Right. As far as him right now, let's not worry about him. Her. Let's worry yeah, about she's her. She's being the driver. driver. She, yep. No plate on the vehicle. No plate on the So let's, let's get her out of the vehicle. Okay. She refuses to come out of the vehicle. All right. Well, we'll get to five her. Okay. She's not cooperating with Okay. Us. And we'll tow the vehicle because there's no next problem is I hope she doesn't try to take off on us because right uh, it's because she's front of her I can yeah uh, I hope you have your guy we'll block the blockers a little bit closer maybe that way she didn't take off running that's good that's good oh, I'm gonna walk between the cars there. Yep. Hi there. My name is Sergeant Thurston. Ma'am, I'm talking to you. You're the driver. Roll the window down to speak with me. You're the driver of this vehicle. After the investigation, the woman was identified as Judith and her husband, Brian Jordan. The couple is from Asheville, and they are the main individuals involved in the incident. The woman was determined to escalate the situation with her resistance and aggressive attitude, even resorting to rude and threatening language towards the police. Her behavior forced the officers to break the car window and use pepper spray to control the situation. This led to the street being closed off to ensure safety, creating a more tense and dangerous situation. Can you open the door so I can talk to you? Open the door! Ma'am, I'm trying to speak. Okay. One second here. Ma'am, I'm, tra I'm trying to talk to you. I'm asking you to make contact with me on the other side of the vehicle so I can talk with you. Get up out of the vehicle so I can speak with you. Ma'am, I'm asking you to speak to me. And asking, pulling you out of the vehicle if you don't cooperate. We are allowed to be Open sued the door by on the that Fourth side. Amendment constitutional right. Do you not understand that? Nation. And protect now. Open the door. I'm going to break the window. I'm going to break. You either open the door. Open the door and speak to me. Door and speak to me. I'm asking you to, do you have a driver's license? Ma'am, you're the driver of the vehicle. I'm talking to open the door and speak to me. I'm not going to continue to assist you out of the vehicle. I'm asking you to open the, the door. Ma'am, I need a driver's license. Asking if they can deploy OC into the car. Give me one number, please. I already ran it. Huh? Yep. Okay. I ran it. 1429 ran it. Yep. Walker? He's asking if you want to OC deploy. I don't know if it's a child. One, one second here, Chris. That's good. It's a child or a man? I'm going to young boy. No. Down here. I just heard you want to not be able to be here. Hmm. 47 to 1187. Two steps out. So here's OC in there right quick, right yet, because let's hold off until uh, I don't want them to take off, you know what I'm saying? I don't, and then they'll have OC in there. 
I got some stairs. Go ahead. It wouldn't hurt. So, do you need a? Do we need a baton at this point? What well, do we have, we have one. Of? Yeah. We have a uh, sovereign citizen type person. What do you Push got? that right into the window, it'll, okay. it'll shatter. Perfect. Alright. What is it? It'll shatter. It's 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 oh. I've got the window breaker at the end too. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so we've got uh, the tire so we can... Uh, where's my... Uh, Jones. Car. Uh, hey, let's. Uh, you want me to shut it down? I want you to shut it down, yeah. <clears throat> 47, 1187. Would just shut the uh, westbound traffic down right there. <laughs> the officers carefully plan to remove the individuals from the vehicle focusing on preventing the driver from fleeing and addressing concerns about potential weapons. The confrontation ended with the arrest of all three individuals, who continued to resist and demanded the officers' badge numbers even while being restrained. Even after their arrest, the aggressiveness and wild behavior of these individuals showed no signs of diminishing. It's clear that merely incarcerating them for a short period and then releasing them would not suffice for them to become upstanding citizens. They need to face severe penalties to truly learn their lesson and prevent repeating such serious mistakes in the future. 47 radio. If you would just log that we've made every attempt we can to try to identify the driver who refused the vehicle. Hey, don't get between the cars. Back here? Yeah, but right. he's not coming out. He's not coming out. Uh, then there's three people in the car, two males, one female driver, and saying they're a sovereign citizen. Okay. We're going to uh, make entry into the front, get the driver out, and then we'll uh, front passenger up for uh, obstructing with us. I've got the window breaker, so I'm going to go ahead and crack We're going to take window. driver out first, right? right? I'll take Loan to get here. Okay. But it uh, looks like they're going to have less lethal, but I'm going to... Uh, we need to have someone, uh, a couple of us to make contact here. Strong, oh, young, younger male in the back seat. Right. When we yep. let him know, put his hands behind his back, or want to hit him with those seat. Yep. yep. Her. Here's, a, here's also, uh, once we, we're going to have to get her out. And yep. He's got a knife with one of the guys, so that's why. I'm... The male does. Hold on. Stop right there. Stop right there. Stop right there. Stop right there. Tell you what I told him. We're going to listen right. here, guys, and have cover. I don't want any crossfire, so I need, uh, she's refusing to open the door, not to break the window. We're going to pull her out and uh, do what you need to do to get her out. Uh, have a back window. Uh, hey, Mike. Pull the window out. Don't walk between the cars. we got to go with the drivers. Right now, the driver. Fail and identify yourself for obstructing. And the passenger, front passenger is going to be the same way. Pass one back, female driver. Yep. 99 traffic, 47, 99. 99 traffic, 855. You're under arrest, open the door. You're under arrest, open the door. Step out, you're getting hosed. Step out now, step out now. You're under arrest, step out of the vehicle now. Step out of the vehicle now. OC, OC, OC. Step out now, OC. Step out now. 47, you device for the medics. Step out. 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 Get out! Get your mess! Hey! Let go of your back! Stay your head! Get up! Put your hands behind your back. You are under arrest. You're under arrest.
You are under arrest. Do okay. not resist I'm arrest. Not resisting. I'm You're not under resisting. arrest. Get your back. You're under you arrest. I'm not resisting. I'm not. Treat my 15 year old like that, fuckhead. He's not doing anything. I need to give him a second. None of us are resisting. None of us are resisting. <laughs> You guys are attacking. They got them. They're coming. The horror of this couple didn't stop there. The most appalling aspect of their actions was committing these heinous acts while their 15-year-old child was in the car. This has caused immense emotional trauma to the young boy, who was subjected to their toxic behavior. However, he is still young and has enough time to change, to become a kind, law-abiding citizen and to grow into someone entirely different from his parents. As for this couple, they should face additional charges of child abuse or endangerment. This is especially pertinent because Judith caused the accident and fled the scene. Do you agree with these assessments? We need a second man. What is your name? <laughs> Ma'am? Judith? Okay. This should have never happened. You should have cooperated with us. Do you have her ID? <laughs> okay. I'll do it, Jim. Oh, yep. 47. If you would get a 34 started also. Hey, Corey. Can I get you to, uh... Ma'am, if you had anything to say, you're under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. You're being safe. You can use against the court law. You're They're here. Yes, sir. I am not spitting on anybody. Good. Probably free to be me. Make sure you get pictures of that mirror and everything. As far as the right, we probably need to still obviously with everything else because that was how everything originated. Yeah. All right, we're gonna take you to the squad. Haven't done it. Ready? Ready? Uh, follow these gentlemen around here. Get a bunch of Yeah, so the other truck didn't really have any damage. They like clipped mirrors. There's no, there's no. Well, I was two cars back, and I saw them dueling for the position. Yeah, that's what and you were I saying. And I saw him, the one car, everything. Yeah. Get some floor pictures too. Okay. After receiving medical treatment, these individuals were taken to jail to serve their sentences. There, an officer decided to speak with Judith once more to understand the reasons behind their harmful actions. This is not only the officer's question, but also a concern shared by anyone witnessing this scene. Why could she and her husband not simply present their IDs and face the appropriate punishment instead of barricading themselves in the car and involving their son in such a horrific ordeal? Name's Judith, right? Judith, this is to say, this, this is terrible. This has never happened. And my question to you is, why did you... I'm not answering any questions. Alright, listen, I, I'm just trying to talk to you because this is to you or anyone in the, in the future. This is terrible. This should never happen. Normally happen, are you guys, I mean, you kept, uh, 
giving my uh, statements of like, uh, it's not beneficial for you to do that. You can't drive without a license plate. As far as Brian should be, Brian's okay. Yeah, the mess that you, this is created. And now you have your son, Brian, who's just 15 years old. This had to show up and, and do any of that. This officer should have just been able to come. You have an ID. You should have just cooperated. But you'd already been at home probably in your So if you don't want to talk, I understand. I mean, I feel that you're kind of, are you under control if you don't feel like talking? I'm just trying to be, I don't know, yeah, I'm trying to be empathetic to you, I guess. Look, there's, I don't know if there's issues that to where you feel like you're in danger to talk for. Okay. I could use the rest of the See, I'm just trying to, I'm, I'm a human being trying to talk to you. I just happen to be a police officer. I'm just trying to talk to you. That's all I'm trying to do. Show a little bit of humility, I guess. The more you cooperate, the better off you would be. You have a driver's license, so if you you should, why would you, why bother get a driver's license? You know what I mean? We're gonna go to this right place. Yep. <clears throat> Judith and Brian Jordan were arrested and charged with assault, obstruction of justice, disorderly conduct, and resisting arrest. The minor son was released back to his family. The truck was towed, containing a knife, pepper spray, and a case of beer. Stop that car. I don't give a On October 15, 2023, while on patrol in Ohio, an officer spotted a black vehicle making an illegal U-turn at an intersection. Upon running the vehicle's plates, the officer found they had expired three months ago. Acting swiftly, the officer initiated a traffic stop to address the expired plates and the illegal maneuver. Hello. Hi. So there's no U-turn back there? Um, yeah, I can get it because they tell me not to. You check? Yeah. Okay. All right, if they don't have to get it so early, I can get them. Okay. Do you have um, insurance in the car? I don't. Okay. Uh, let me just uh, run everything real quick. All right. Yeah. Could you do me a favor? Can you hop on out real quick? Sure. Can I get a rest? No, not at all. Unless you want to be. Right, we're going to go to the sidewalk here real quick. All right, so I'm going to work with you a little bit, but you are going to get a citation, okay? okay. Just just for the plates. I'm not going to tow your car either. Um, also, provide that to the court that you have insurance, because okay. you have the insurance. Okay. Um, the plates is the lease. And then uh, I couldn't get a good look. Who's your passenger today? Um, that's my little sister. Little sister, how old is she? She's 16. We just came from having food. When the officer approached the driver for investigation, he smelled marijuana on her, prompting a deeper investigation. While checking the driver's personal information, they noticed the woman hesitated when talking about her age and name, which raised the officer's suspicions. How much weed's in the car? Um, it's not the little roach. I can little roach. Okay, that's what I said. It just smells like someone smoked. Sorry. I'll just advise you on that. Okay. Um, I know you have a CCW. Do you have your firearm with you? I do. Okay. You're supposed to tell me that. Oh, sorry. I didn't right. know. This is my second time getting pulled over. Yeah. So whenever you make like contact with law enforcement, usually it's going to be in your car. It's in, in my purse. Okay. Um, just place your arms on your side. I'm just going to make sure you got nothing else on you. Okay. Good. Okay. What's your sister's name? Hi. Okay. Can you do me a favor? Can you hop on out real quick? Am I in trouble? Nope. She just said there's a little roach in there. If it's, that's it, I'm just going to advise you guys on that. How old are you? Um, All right. So let's let's not lie. Let's just be honest. Do you guys Are you guys related? No. No. I just came from here. She really don't supposed to be with me because we had an altercation a long time ago. I don't know if it's in the, the protection order. Police. No order, no law enforcement. Oh, then that, that doesn't matter. Okay, I mean, I'm sorry. I just didn't want to get us in trouble. No, well, we made amends. Then that doesn't matter. You guys can I'm be. Sorry. I just didn't want to. Yeah, I got gotcha. you. So, do you have an idea on you by no. chance? Okay. So, I don't know my social. you don't know your social? Okay. Do me a favor. Uh, what's your first name? D E D E. A hyphen. E R I C K A. Um, do you have a CCW by chance? No. Okay, just asking because she said she had a CCW. Mm -hmm. uh, she has her firearm with her. She pocket your like that. What's in there? Cell phone. Cell phone. Okay. And your jacket pocket looks. Yeah, no. One second, just hang out with him, okay? It's in my purse by chance. I mean. Okay, that's fine. Yeah. Based on the name provided by the female passenger, the officer found some surprising information about her in the police record system. Alright, have you ever had an ID or Ohio license or anything like that? No. No? 
Okay, what would be your most current address or where you live at? Okay, I got you. All right, Derek, can you, can you come over here real quick with me? Derek, you, come here. This is all your information, you're being honest with me? Uh, the, only reason, the only reason why I ask is because you seem really hesitant on your date of birth and your address. You seem like you hesitated with me. No. Um, do you have any warrants or anything like that? No. Nothing like that? No, none at all. Okay. Well, I got a pee in my stomach hurt. Well, unfortunately, I can't have you peeing in public. So right. I'm going to try to make this. Get you out as soon as I can. The police conducted a check on the marijuana found in the car and documented it for disposal according to regulations. However, the situation escalated unexpectedly when the female passenger decided to flee the scene. Based on the information provided by the driver, who claimed to be the suspect's older sister, how did a 16-year-old teenager like the suspect make such a risky decision as running across a crowded traffic street? This not only posed a risk of injury to herself, but also jeopardized the safety of the officers. The question remains, why did she believe she could outrun police visibility with her limited physical strength? No, you cannot leave. You are detained as of now. No, you're being detained, which means during the course of a traffic stop, everybody in the vehicle is detained. I have the right to identify who you are. What you mean? I just told you you were allowed. You're still not allowed to leave. I don't care what the issue is, but you're not allowed to leave. Steve, can you get her so she doesn't walk away? I just told you why. Stop. Come here. Radio foot pursuit with the female. We're by eastbound. You're gonna get taste. That's all rest. I got her. Radio. I Can we get some more cars? Block traffic. <laughs> Stop that car. I don't give a sh I don't care, get up. I'll cell phone right here. Steve, grab it. Radio, she's in custody. In custody, twice or twice. Now you're under arrest for resisting. So, you made everything worse. And she broke my arm. Stop. Okay. You are Stop making it worse. It's tight. I don't care. Rod, you have a key, man. Yes, please. He got my phone. 6609 to... Can I just call my kids? I will do everything you ask me to. I just need to call my kids. I don't care right now. I'm not. It's on my wrist and it's tight. And I well, maybe you shouldn't run. Because you was... Can you get her... Can you walk, let her walk over here to get my cell phone? And what the officers need to ascertain right now is the true identity of the suspect. However, this process isn't going smoothly as the driver hasn't provided any useful information. What's her name? She's going to right? Bullshit. Don't start with me because this is bullshit now. I'm, What's her name? I'm just, I can come to you right now as honest. I know her as Bubbles. I don't know exactly her real entire name. But we don't, we don't have her name. 35, no rocks, no exactly I promise you, you're catching up. Who's I am Oh, you're they just short. Known as a criminal with multiple arrest warrants, this woman is accustomed to using her children as a ploy to garner sympathy from officers. When she decided to flee from the police, she didn't consider the safety of her children. Instead, she cried and thought of her kids when apprehended, attempting to find a convincing excuse to justify her poor decisions. Alright, so either you can tell us who you are now, or you're just going to sit in jail for about a month until they get your DNA back. Can I talk to my kids? No, my priority right now is my business. Your kids are second to me right now. I need to figure out who you are and why you're running from me. Oh, hurt my kids. Hurt my kids. Can you let her call my kids first, please? No, I will let you. Call, I will call the kids. Please, please, I'm a first-time mom. That's great, but I'm what a is? First your, time mom. So what's your I'm first, first name? Time mom. Oh, wow. So here's the thing. So, listen. The suspect continued to cry without any intention of revealing her real name or any information about herself. I'm a listen, stop crying. You did this to yourself. Don't try to make me feel responsible for your terrible decisions, okay? And I, and I promise to God. 
God, I did this. I didn't do it to myself. Someone control your legs to run? No, then, it wasn't about it. that. It was, I was thinking about my kid. And you could have went home and could have been done with this, but now you're. <laughs> my kid. All right, well. <laughs> is your phone broken? Yes, you broke my phone. This is this. These are your actions. I didn't tell you to run, did I? Because I want this. Take, I want this. I want this. To be, I will. And I'm not yelling at you. And I'm not mad. Do you know her number for her kids? I don't. It's in her phone. That's why I asked her for her phone. The thing about it is, I just want my kids. I just want to talk to my kids. I you're promise gonna I'm not going to get out. I will tell you exactly who I am. If y'all just let her let me call my kids, I promise you. I promise you. I promise you. If you just let her let me call my kids, I promise I will tell y'all. I'm saying it because I'm a first time mom. Is the password on this? Okay, my phone is broken. Okay, so how am I supposed to call your kids if it's broken? Because she ha I will give her the number to call. <laughs> hey, it's real simple, okay? You're gonna have to go and sit in jail until we fingerprint you. I or, was... or you can tell us who you are, and then save us a whole lot of time, and you a whole lot of time not being in jail. You'll go home to your kids, right? Cause... You got some travel warrants or something? No. What do you got? Parole? Probation. Probation? All right. So you didn't do it. You didn't do a bit. You're not, you're not been in prison, right? No. What's your real social, kid? I don't, I don't know my social. All right, what's your, what's your first and last name? No bullshit. All right. Um, just remember this. Go ahead. Don't, we'll just, right, here's your name. Well, just ask if the baby is real Adam, Adam Young. Last name is. Are they good? Paul, Adam, Robert, All right. Adam. Your grandma, is that who was the kid? Okay, well, we'll worry about that later. Meanwhile, some officers continued to search the vehicle and made unexpected discoveries. Simultaneously, the identity of the passenger was confirmed, revealing that she was wanted with multiple warrants for serious crimes since 2021, including robbery and aggravated assault. Go ahead. Lock 44? Is this the passenger that you had me checking for earlier? Yes, she was a liar. Can you pat her down? Good. Yeah, I think we got an extra glove. I do. I only have one left. So oh yeah, thank you. So you got two warrants out of county? You can stop out for me. Do you want me to look at her history and make sure she didn't f*** up between now and the time she got a permit? Uh, it's, she's got it. Been her citation. Her, the other girl, uh, yeah. falsification. And resisting. resisting arrest. So she ran through here, through the bushes. She, I knew, because she was walking away and I There was three of you guys here. How was she going to get away? Because you fell. Yeah. So you don't need an ambulance? No? Great. The police seized a small amount of drugs from the car, and the driver voluntarily took responsibility to avoid further trouble for the suspect. Subsequently, the driver received a citation for an expired license plate and was released. Perhaps due to the driver's cooperation and responsible actions, the police sincerely advised her. If the female driver continues to associate with individuals like the suspect, her future could face more serious consequences than just a ticket for a violation like the current one. Who's going to claim ownership of the weed? More trouble than she already in, so I guess I'll take it if it's just a ticket or whatever. Where do you want this for now? Because I'm not um, going to hand it. In the glove compartment. I'm not going to hand it to you. Loaded. All right, mags in your purse, which is right in your front seat, and the gun is in the glove box. Okay. You have your ticket. Yes. Don't hang out with bubbles anymore because she's not a good influence. The suspect is charged with resisting arrest, misdemeanor level two, and impersonation, misdemeanor level one. The suspect's bail was set at $725. However, she was unable to post bail and was remanded into custody. The suspect's trial is currently ongoing. What do you think about this situation? Was issuing a citation to the driver appropriate, given her signs of lying to the police to cover for the suspect? Should the driver be arrested for obstruction? And is the bail amount set for the suspect appropriate, considering her multiple criminal acts? Please leave your thoughts in the comments below to discuss with everyone. These stories about Karens have shown us that no one can bypass the law without facing consequences. Their outrageous and defiant behavior not only causes trouble for others, but also leads to serious legal repercussions. Always remember that respecting the law and behaving properly is the only way to maintain order and peace in society. If you found this video useful, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to not miss out on more valuable lessons. Goodbye and see you next time.